Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're gonna look at Lightroom's spot removal tool, specifically clone versus heal. How do they work? How are they different? And uh, when you may need to give up on both and use a, uh, a tool with a little more power. So let's take a look at them um, with this photo. So the thing about both of these tools is they need a sample point. I just wanna show you the, the, the difference between the two. Let's just zoom up into this area here and we have a dust spot right there. So let's open up the tool. We have heal set, make my brush a little big, and I'm gonna make that spot disappear by clicking heal once. Lightroom will automatically sample some other section of the photo and blend all that in. Now that's a key thing. Lightroom needs to sample some other area within your photo to grab pixels from and grab colors from to figure out how to blend it together. Now, if I choose this same point, but I'm gonna change it to like this, this very light blue that's up here, look what's happening over there. You see that, that wiggling around where my spot is? I'm gonna let go, I'll move out there. It's still not too bad for what a healing brush is doing, but it's a poor sample point. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I wanna change this to clone. So I'm right clicking on it and I'm changing this to clone. Now look at this spot down here. It becomes this garishly bright blue. Well, what is clone doing? It's copying pixel per pixel. There's no interpolation, there's no smoothing, nothing like that. Heal will do smoothing, clone will do pure pixel by pixel copy. So that's important. That gives us a hint as to when we'd want to use one over the other. If I have a smooth subject that I'm working with and trying to retouch, in this case, the sky, it could be a person's skin, it could be soft water, whatever it might be, I wanna use the heal option of the spot removal. That's gonna give me a nice smooth result. Conversely, if I have something with a fair amount of detail or a repeating pattern, I'm probably gonna to wanna to use the clone so I can copy pixel for pixel another area that has that same type of detail or pattern and position it so I can get a nice nice crisp copy of those pixels. So for this one, let's go ahead and change that back to heal and we'll move this down in here. And let's see if we have another spot in this photo that we could try to see how clone might work for us. So perhaps trying to remove this tree here. So let's say for the sake of argument, I wanted to remove that particular palm tree. Right now I'm set to heal. I'm gonna to try to paint over this palm tree right there and see how heal does. So it samples over there, I'll move away. And that did a pretty good job. I'm not sure how much of this is gonna show up in the video because of uh, video compression, but there are some smudges and things here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more and we can see that. Move out of the way there. So you can see there's, there's a bit of artifacting going on there. So heal is trying to smooth things out, but it's not doing a great job. Let's delete that point. Let's now try it with clone. So I'll choose the clone. And again, I'm going to just paint over that palm tree and get right down to the base of that tree. And then where is it selecting? Let's move that selection point maybe over here and see about blending that in. Now that's looking a little bit worse on the, the color matching. So the edge right where we're meeting the tree line, that looks good, but the color matching is bad. This is an example of where you can use both tools together. So let's do this. We'll delete that spot. We'll go back to heal and we'll do the bulk of our work with the healing brush, just like that. Let it sample, let it do its thing. Not too bad. You recall from a previous video I did, I showed you some tips and tricks for doing uh, spot removal and turning things on and off. I think that was an in post video. Let's see where that sample point came from. That's bad, we'll move that over here. And now, I'll turn off those points. Now I'm gonna switch back to clone. And I'm just gonna work on this little tiny bit right here on the tree line. We'll click once, and that's looking a lot better. I can then do a second heel brush. We'll kinda of just smooth out that area there. And that's looking pretty darn good. So had to do a little bit of work for that, right? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, quick and easy. It wasn't a single click. This is also an example of when you have something that is more detailed work, you may need to go beyond Lightroom. 
Lightroom needs other pixels in your photo to sample from. It does not have intelligent content aware fill capabilities. So if you've got a retouching job that really needs uh, some reconstruction of something in the scene, you may need to go to Photoshop on one photo, something that's got a content aware erase tool that will get you the, the that next that last 10% of work that you need to do. So to recap this, clone versus heal. Heal will do some smoothing and some interpolation and some, you know, like, you know, color blending to, to make things nice and soft. Clone will copy pixel for pixel. Healing is great when you have a soft subject. Clone is better when you have hard lines repeating patterns. So that's the sum up of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment below or you got other questions about it, feel free to hit me up. And thanks very much for watching. My name is Scott Davenport.